if you were trying to use stories, and since we're talking about journalism, this would be stories describing real things as opposed to, you know, a, a, a story, like in, in, in a TV story, for example. So if we're talking about journalism, which tells stories, of course, the difference between a journalist and an act of entertainment is a journalist story should be deadly accurate. And yes, one could certainly believe that you would wish a story to, so long as it was true, you would pick stories that, you know, cast you in a good light. That's fine. If someone wishes to criticize you, they can do their own story, pointing out that you're a creep. But if you want to point out that you've done something, my criteria would be simple. Did you actually do it? And is it, if it's done and it's credible, why you have the right to tell the world about it? And to tell the world about it um, with emphasis, vividly, in a memorable, in a memorable way. But if by traditional media we are referring to real journalists with educations and long-term focus on whatever their features are, um, we've never needed it more. It's also under siege because the economic model underlying it is collapsing, which is, of course, paid advertising. Uh, this is, in the great scheme of things, a disadvantage from society's point of view. If more people insist on getting their news from the social media feeds, it will be, it'll have no context, it'll be basically random, and it will be abnormally affected by celebrity news. He said, gag me with a spoon. What purports to be news is entertainment of the lowest common denominator. And it does mean, unfortunately, that what constitutes much of the electronic news, at least, is the old journalistic rule. If it bleeds, it leads. So fire, floods, and disasters. And after that, cute stories about rescuing a kid whose head is stuck in the sewer. As if the fate in North America revolved around that kid whose head is in the sewer pipe. I'm sorry the kid's got his head in the sewer pipe, but kids do things like that all the time. Do we actually need the CBS Evening News covering the kid? I think not.